do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play okay. Sing a song and pray That's right. God really loves us God really, really cares About you, me, our families That's right God's always right About taking steps to know God more and also what it would be like in outer space and other galaxies far, far away. So, I looked up some fun facts about just that. Do you want to hear? Okay, here goes. Space is completely silent. Shh, can you hear that? Yep, that's like space, but more silent. <laughs> Sunsets! That's when the sun goes down. On a planet called Mars are the color blue! You know how on Earth, our sunsets are like that orangey color? Can you imagine an entirely blue sunset? There are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on Earth! That's where we are! Crazy! There is a planet made of diamonds! Diamonds are those really sparkly things that people wear for jewelry. A spaceship has to go from sitting still like this, to 18,000 miles per hour, like this. In eight minutes to get into space. Whoa, that's really, really fast. Going that fast would be kind of scary. Do you think so? I was going to pretend to do a Cosmo Cali rocket launch and practice my G-Force Jiggy, but now I'm not so sure I want to. I've been pretending to do a lot of space stuff, just like astronauts do, but now I'm not sure I can. I mean, astronauts must be really brave to launch into space so, so fast! Then, once they're up there in space, they actually leave the spaceship and walk around in space! I'm not sure I would be brave enough to do that. Would you be brave enough to do that? Maybe your Bible story will teach you something about being brave! It's time for today's Bible story and it comes from the book of Acts chapter 6 and 7. Stephen was a brave man who believed in God with his whole heart. Stephen was chosen to do an important job, to take care of the widows, the women who had lost their husbands. As he was doing that, Stephen did other unbelievable things for people. This was because he was full of God's power. Some leaders saw Stephen doing these things and they got mad. They thought Stephen had power that they wanted. Stephen knew it was God's power and God gave Stephen words to say back to those who were mad at him. The angry leader had a bad idea. They got some people to lie about Stephen, saying that Stephen was speaking bad things. These lies spread and Stephen got arrested. Stephen was brought in front of a group of judges. Stephen had done nothing wrong, but he said things to the judges that made the leaders even angrier. As they grew angrier, Stephen looked up and saw something crazy. He told the people that he was seeing Jesus standing right next to God in heaven. This upset them even more. They started throwing stones at Stephen. The stones hit him and Stephen was about to die. But Stephen knew that he would be in heaven with Jesus soon. The Holy Spirit, which is like God inside of us, was with Stephen in every moment. So Stephen could be as brave as he cared for the widows, did unbelievable things for others, and even as he stood before those angry judges and leaders, Stephen was not alone. The Holy Spirit was with him. The Holy Spirit helped him. In the same way, when we believe in Jesus, the Holy Spirit is with us every step of the way. So we can take a big step. The Holy Spirit makes us brave. That Bible story was really helpful. And I just saw the most amazing thing. Look at this picture of an astronaut walking in space. See that string-like thing? That keeps them attached to the ship. That way, astronauts can explore space without getting lost or floating away. That's kind of like what the Holy Spirit does for us. 
The Holy Spirit is with us and keeps us attached to God all the time. Isn't that amazing? We don't need to be afraid. We can do anything, friends. The Holy Spirit makes us brave. Have you ever been afraid to do something or say something because you didn't feel brave enough? Or you were worried about what people might think? Take a big step. The Holy Spirit makes us brave. Okay. Cosmo Cali is ready for launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whoa! This is Cosmo Cali signing off. Thanks for learning and growing with me. Peace out.